hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be making bread so to start with in my large mixing bowl i'll add warm milk warm water some sugar and also my instant uh, active dried yeast after adding them i'm going to mix them together and after that i'll cover with my cling film or you can use kitchen uh, towel to cover it and allow it to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes so 10 minutes later i'm going to go ahead to add in my vegetable oil you can as well use butter for this recipe and after that i will sieve in my dried flour guys always make sure you sieve your flour to help to remove any unwanted particles in case and after that i will add in some salt to taste then i'll go ahead to use my spatula to start mixing them together i'm going to continue mixing this until i form a dough so guys in case if you are mixing your own and you feel like your dough is sticky there is no need of adding extra uh, flour to it you can just cover it with your kitchen towel and allow it to rest for five minutes before you start kneading so after i'm done forming a dough i'm going to place it on my rolling mat then i'm going to knead this with my hand i'm going to knead for about 15 minutes so now that I'm done kneading my dough, I'm going to form a ball shape with the dough. Then I'll go ahead to place it in my bowl, then brush it with some vegetable oil. The essence of doing this is to prevent your dough from sticking to your bowl when it starts doubling its size. So after that, I'm going to cover with my cling film and allow it to rest for 2 hours. So two hours later, I'm going to unwrap the dough. As you can see now, the size of my dough increased after two hours. And after that, I'm going to place it on my rolling mat. Then I'll go ahead to divide the dough into two portions. So next, I'm going to take out one portion of the dough. Then with the help of my rolling pin, I'm going to flatten the dough. And after that, I will roll the dough and place it in my baking pan i'm going to repeat the same process with the remaining dough and after that i'm going to cover with my kitchen towel and allow to rest for one hour and after one hour you can see that the size of my dough also doubled again and after that i'm going to preheat my oven for 10 minutes then i'll go ahead to place my bread dough in my oven and allow it to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes so 30 minutes later i'm going to go ahead to take out the bread from the oven and after that i will allow it to cool down before removing it from the baking pan so guys my bread is ready now can you see how fluffy and yummy this bread looks like and please guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and share this video and also turn on your notification bell icon see you guys in my next video bye